Design tools usually force a choice, either full control or AI doing everything for you. Vertex is interesting because it doesn't make you choose. You start with templates or from scratch, but everything stays fully editable. Instead of just generating images with AI, Vertex can generate vector graphics. Real SVGs you can tweak, resize, recolor and rebuild. That means AI gives you a starting point and you stay in control of the final design. You can mix stock assets, your own images and AI generated elements all in the same workspace without breaking the flow. In this video I'll build a complete Instagram story from scratch, using AI to speed things up but not to replace the design process. This is what working with AI actually looks like. Fast iteration, creative control and designs that still feel intentional. So let's take a closer look. So here's the front page of Vertex. So we can just take a brief look at some of their features. So they have AI templates where you can start building something from a template, but you still have the freedom to modify everything, use their, their AI to generate new elements, like that could be graphic elements, vector graphics, um, and then basically build from there. They have like regular AI image generation, but also logo generation and actually generation of any other graphics you can imagine because they can generate SVGs with AI, meaning that it becomes vector graphics and you can you can modify and tweak everything after uh, AI has, has generated it. So I think we should just sign in and uh, see how it looks. And uh, as you see, we have different uh, templates we can start from. So something I use a lot is, for instance, the uh, YouTube video thumbnail because we need to, to generate thumbnails. Uh, also something like Instagram story is really nice to have. You can make presentations and so, um, so these are the most popular, but it's also uh, categorized. So we have still different uh, assets for social media. We have different print assets, uh, presentation assets, branding, marketing. You can start from scratch or you can choose a layout to uh, to get started but i'll just start from scratch first and then i think we should work on a um an instagram story so uh, so let's select this one so imagine that at house we want to make like uh, make an instagram story wishing all our followers uh, merry christmas and happy new year we can either choose some some assets some predefined assets we have access to stock photos but also templates uh, that's all completely editable uh, icons and and so on but what i actually want to try is to use the vertex ai so as uh, so we can open the ai chat and then uh, i already have because i talked to to both chat dbt and google gemini uh, a lot so i already uh, I know they already know the brand of house. So I asked, um, in this case, ChatGPT to create a, just a short uh, brand style guide for another AI. So I'll just paste in the style guide. So it's just very, like, just basic colors and, and a tone of voice and, and so on. And then uh, after pasting this, we can just make a separate and then we can say, please make a Merry Christmas and Happy new year instagram story for house collected something like that let's just try this first and see uh, what it comes up with so we'll give it this prompt and it should start generating some vector graphics okay so now it's generating visual you can see the prompt and it it's using the uh, svg generation tool for this let's see so uh Oh, it really uh, it uses our font. It uses the correct color, the brand color, um, and obviously this is just uh, like just look at this at, as the beginning because of because of the fact that it's SVG, we can modify everything afterwards, which is really nice. Let's try to insert this into the project and then see what we can do with it from from here. Okay, so I now inserted the SVG output from the AI into our project, and as you see, it fits perfectly with the format uh, of an Instagram story. Of course, there are some things we can we can tweak, but uh, it's very simple and nice in its own brand. I mean, we can maybe try to uh, to just make this a bit bigger and uh, 
Maybe we also want Happy New Year to be bigger as well. And then maybe we should also make Happy New Year our brand color. For color, we'll use the selector and use this one. Okay, I saw there was something down here. Let's just delete it for now. I think I want to move this up a bit because then we can make room down here for um, for some other elements, I want to insert a photo of me and my co-founder. And I actually f took a screenshot of the first ever podcast we did together. And then I had the Nano Banana add some uh, Christmas decorations in the background. I can't tell if it went a bit overboard. <laughs> it's very, um, very Christmassy. So um, let's <laughs> let's go with this. I'll resize this a bit. Resize it a bit and uh, we can just simply add it here. So let's add it as a sort of band here. We can look for some icons perhaps. Maybe we should add a, let's see, a Christmas tree. So it's right here. Maybe we should make it our brand color as well. Actually, it should probably be uh, be another color. Let's see. Maybe we should just try to make this some sort of green. Something like that. And then just move it a bit, a bit bigger and just sort of to the side a bit. Let's try to use the AI to, to create like a 2026 batch. Okay, I guess this works for now. We can always change it later so uh so let's try to just uh insert this and um then we can turn it into our color as well so um so this color i would like to change to our brand color so we just use the um, selector and we can do the same with this I don't know, they look a bit weird. I'm just going to delete those. And then let's resize. Then we can also use the AI to create like a signature for me and my co-founder yielding. So if I open the AI again, something like this. I'm not sure what it is with this, uh, <laughs> with these people. Um, I'll just say, shoot. Be ultra simple. Look and no people or artifacts. Okay, so it I managed to have it create this. Um, so let's just go ahead and drag this into um, our work area. I see I'd have to fix some of the uh, like the, the fillings inside the, the letters, which is fine. But let's just go ahead and uh, I'll just move this up a bit. And then I think it actually gets a bit too busy with the Christmas tree. So I'll just delete this and maybe in this case we should have this down at the bottom and I'll just move this up maybe the 2026 should be up here we just have to uh, to fill them with the background color all right I just want to actually replace this image with uh, I also <laughs> As Gemini or Nano Banana to to make like a like a drawn version of of this instead, so it fits a bit better with the overall style. I will add this drawing. So uh, so this is what the Nano Banana came up with. So let's do something like like this, and then I will just add our real logo and and everything, and then I think we're getting there. I would say it's a pretty pretty nice Instagram story. So I will just add the logo here and let's delete this just a hedge. And then I think I'll make this just a bit smaller and then we can put it down here so it fits with the new year. And then let me just add um like a house text and uh yeah, I think this one is quite funny. We don't use it so much. And uh, we can export this 
directly just download it as an as an image and just post, post it directly to uh, to Instagram. So I think this shows that you can really iterate quite fast with uh, Vertex because you can use a mix of your own assets as well as the uh, like both the, the stock default assets that are provided by Vertex, but also use the AI to generate any uh, any graphics on the fly, especially like SVGs that you can then edit and tweak afterwards. I think that's really nice that you can combine everything to just rapidly iterate. So you get the power of AI while you also still have control yourself to uh, to both change the output of the AI and, and also design in collaboration with uh, with AI. And uh, I guess we got to also at house up our <laughs> game a bit on other platforms than YouTube. So, uh, so it's really nice that these tools are starting to to come now now that figma is a bit slow with uh, with ai integration so um so yeah check out vertex.art and uh, and try it out yourself it's uh, it's really nice if this video inspired you please like and subscribe and have a great day see you soon bye bye